Hello, everyone. And thank you for tuning in to Stimulus Updates, your go-to channel for the most recent news and updates on various monetary and fiscal stimulus initiatives. Today, I am Ali, your host, and I am pleased to inform you of some exciting new developments that have occurred. However, before we get into the changes for today, make sure that you click the button to subscribe and that you set on the notification bell so that you are never left without an update on anything that has to do with stimuli. During these trying times, we are here to keep you informed and to give you the power to make decisions. Let's get right down to business, shall we? There is a storm of information that is about to turn your financial world upside down, and I can't wait to let you in on the secret. In the midst of these turbulent times, we are here to keep you informed from time to time. Now let's completely immerse ourselves in the ocean of exhilaration. There is no such thing as spare change here. We are talking about a $40 increase on a monthly basis, on average. Prepare yourselves because Representative John Larson is in the forefront of the Social Security 2100 Actor Game Changer, which has been approved by none other than the President of the United States of America. It's not simply news. This is the beginning of a new chapter in history. Now, I am aware that the most recent change to the cost of living in 2024 may have left you wanting more, but you should not be concerned about this. In addition to having a strategy, Larson also has a strategic plan. In addition to being the largest significant annual increase in over four decades, the Social Security 2100 Act is a complete blueprint that is poised to alter the benefits landscape. Let's fast forward to the third quarter of January 2024, which is a significant date for individuals who began receiving Social Security benefits prior to May 1997 or who are currently balancing payments from both Social Security and SS services. This is the day that you should remember to keep a close eye out for your payments, regardless of whether they arrive in the mail, direct deposit, or your account. As we fast forward to the 10th day of January 2024, we want to express our joy to those individuals whose birth dates fall between the 1st and 10th of the month. It is at this point that your Social Security benefits will make their spectacular entrance into your life. You should put this date on your calendar and get ready to make that deposit that you have been looking forward to. If you have a birthday that falls between the 11th and the 23 art of the month, you should circle the 17th of January 2024 in your calendar. You are now eligible to receive the fixed income benefits that are provided by Social Security. Those individuals who are fortunate enough to have birth dates that fall between the 21st and 31st of the month can aim for the 24th of January 2024 as the day on which their benefits from a fixed income will be deposited into their accounts. First things first, let's talk about the most pressing issue that everyone is thinking about right now, multiple payments and unexpected deposits. Unfortunately, there is no possibility of more than one payment being made. SSI payments for the 1st of January will simply arrive on the 29th of December 2023, which is a little bit sooner than usual. Also, make sure you keep a close eye on that important day so that you don't miss out on the opportunity to arrive early. Let us dissect it in detail. A rise of 2% will be implemented across the board for Social Security recipients in the near future, an action that has been long overdue but wait on for a moment. Numbers are not the only thing that matters. In order to guarantee that your benefits are in line with the actual cost of living, Larson's plan takes into consideration the recalculation of cost of living adjustments, also known as COA. The growth is not merely a rise. It takes a holistic approach with the goal of improving the quality of life for elderly people, widows, and children 
after they retired. At this moment, I am aware that some of you are skeptical and wondering whether or not this is just another political promise. Please allow me to reassure you that this is not merely a matter of gestures. Larson's Social Security 2100 Act is a comprehensive piece of legislation that addresses a wide range of concerns related to Social Security. Not only does it provide a boost to the economy, but it also creates a lifeline for people who rely on Social Security as their primary source of income. You, widows and widowers, are not forgotten in this larger strategy that is being developed. When it comes to maintaining your financial security after the death of a spouse, the Act acknowledges the specific obstacles that you currently confront. It makes recommendations for improvements to benefits, taking into account the particular challenges that are encountered when negotiating the complexity of widowhood. But before we go on, let's talk about the younger generation and the future. The proposal proposes the reinstatement of student payments for dependent children of disabled or retired workers up to the age of 26. Recognizing the dynamic landscape of education and work, it is a program that is focused on the future and helps to ensure that young people who are dependent on others receive enough support in their academic and professional endeavors. Of course, that is not all. There is also a lot of attention being paid to grandparents and other relatives who are raising youngsters. The Act suggests that the benefits that are available to children who are living with members of their extended family should be increased. A family structure that recognizes and accommodates the many different types of families that exist in our society. There is a sense of relief among public officials who are subject to unfair fines in their Social Security payouts. The Windfall Elimination Clause and the Government Pension Offset are both repealed by the ACT, which has taken a stance on the matter. One can breathe a sigh of relief for those individuals who have devoted their entire careers to serving the public. On the other hand, for our senior residents who have been receiving benefits for 15 years or more, an additional 5% increase is on its way to you. Those who have made significant contributions to society over an extended period of time are receiving a targeted increase in recognition of the special challenges they face. And here is something that has been long overdue, credits for caregivers. The purpose of the act is to ensure that individuals, particularly women, are not penalized in retirement for taking time off from their career to care for their children or other dependents. These credits are established to ensure that this does not happen. Recognizing the unpaid work that caregivers frequently do is a step in the right direction toward a more equitable and humane approach to retirement benefits. At the same time, the landscape of disability benefits is about to undergo a metamorphosis. The present cost of living adjustment, often known as CLI, is going to be eventually replaced with a gradual offset of income. 